Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Krieger Roll Pack 40 and Roll Pack 20. These bags from Krieger are the answer for riders who want the high quality construction that comes with Krieger kit but prefer simplicity over lots and lots of features. The Roll Pack 20 and the Roll Pack 40 are new bags from Krieger that let you stuff your stuff inside, lash the bag to the bike, and just get on with riding. Like most Krieger luggage, they're both made from Cordura and they combine roll top closures with a waterproof liner to keep your kit dry. Both roll packs have two roll tops, one at each end. The waterproof liner is attached inside the bag with Velcro and if that gets damaged, you can replace that with a new liner rather than replacing the whole bag. The capacity, it's in the title. The roll pack 20 holds 20 litres of stuff and fully loaded, it measures 480 millimetres by 240 by 180 millimetres deep. The Roll Pack 40 has yeah, 40 litres of room inside. This one measures 600 millimetres by 300 millimetres by 225 mil deep. I used the Roll Pack 20 and I found that roomy enough for a couple of days away on the bike if I packed carefully and it was comfortably enough for an overnight stay or easily for my commute to work. Based on my experience of the US 40 dry pack, which has similar dimensions to this one, I think the Roll Pack 40 will offer enough storage for a few days away and maybe a week if you travel light. The double ended closure on both bags means it's easy to load either the 20 or the 40. You just stuff your gear inside, roll each end over a couple of times and then clip them shut on the attachments on the side. There are a couple of options for attaching it to your bike, depending on what sort of points you've got on your bike. There are four straps attached to the bag and they all have a metal hook on the end. You feed the straps around something on the bike, such as a pillion grab rail, then you attach the hook to a loop on the bag and pull the strap tight using the cam locks that sit where the strap is fixed to the bag. If there is any excess, you then fold it up and retain it in this Velcro loop that's attached to the strap just for that purpose. If you don't have a rail, then you can use the subframe loops that are supplied with the bag. These straps wrap around the subframe or another suitable part of your bike, and you then feed the metal hooks into those loops and pull the straps tight, again using the cam locks. You get more excess strap if you mount the bag using this method, but those Velcro loops are big enough to hold the excess in place. I fitted this bag to a Suzuki V-Strom 800DE by wrapping the straps around the pillion grab rails and the luggage rack, and then securing the hooks back to the bag. We also fitted it to a Honda CB750 Hornet using two subframe loops at the front of the bag and then wrapping the other two straps around the number plate hanger and hooking them back to the bag. Now, if you want to expand the capacity of the roll packs a little bit, you can do that. There are loops on top that let you attach a Krieger US dry pack. You can fit a US 5 dry pack to the top of the roll pack 20 and the roll pack 40 that can cope with having a US 10 on its back. Now the roll pack concept, it's a really simple way to keep a relatively small amount of luggage on your bike with the 20 and a bit more with this one. And the overall appeal is that it's for people who want a clean look. Unlike many Krieger bags, there are also different colors available and that's another attraction for a lot of people. As we record this, the price depends on which size you go for, probably obviously, and also which color you go for. In plain black, orange, lime, or this color, which is called Coyote, the roll pack 20 is 129 pounds. There's a fifth color, which is a black camo called Multicam Black, and that costs 145 pounds. If you go for the larger Roll Pack 40, the basic colors, black, orange, lime, or coyote, are 159 pounds, while Multicam Black is 175. The Roll Packs are designed to offer simplicity, so there are no pockets, there are no carry handles, or other bits and bobs, which keeps the price down compared to similar products in Krieger's range. Everything about them might be simple, but you're still covered by Krieger's 10-year warranty which in my experience is the absolute gold standard when it comes to customer warranties. People with no experience of Krieger at all often look a little bit wide-eyed at the price, which I'll admit is quite high. But those people who've owned and used Krieger kit, especially those who've had it for years, tend to know the quality is as high as it comes, as is the support that's available on the rare occasions that something does go wrong with the Krieger bag. If you think the roll pack concept is a little bit too stripped down for your tastes, then take a look at the Krieger US dry packs instead. The US 20 and US 40 have more features than these bags, but they do have a busier look and they come with a higher price tag as well. The US 20 is £145 as we record this, so it's £16 more than this roll pack in plain black. The US 40 is £189, so that's £30 more than a roll pack 40 in the equivalent colour. 
If what you want is something where you just fill your bag up, lash it to your bike and head off in confidence your stuff is going to stay dry, then these are exactly the bags you need to be looking at. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger Rollpack 20 and Rollpack 40. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.